So here we have the USB Type-C with the Nexus 6P. Uh, USB Type-C is available right now in phones on mass market. Everybody's getting them. Right, so we have uh, a large number of phone suppliers who are now incorporating USB Type-C as their connector to replace the micro B. And this is the market adoption. You expect uh, how many billions of people? That was showing yeah. up to two I'll billion units per year shipping it by 2019. Two billion units by 2019? That are Type-C based. But how can, so, so who are you? What so, do you do? I'm Brad Saunders. I represent the USB Implementers Forum. And as a volunteer, I actually work for Intel, so I help manage the forum itself and spec development. So who invented USB Type-C? Somebody did invent, or uh, like a group of it people? It was a group of people under uh, our management that invented it as a spec development. We had 20 different companies involved in that specification, including companies like Google and Apple and HP and Intel. Samsung and others. So everybody, involved. everybody agrees. Everybody wants faster speed. They want more. They stuff. want easier use usability, right? A connector that can flip and can be swapped in either direction, left or right. Doesn't matter which direction of the cable goes. They want a connector that can go faster and grow with the use model for USB over the next 10 years. So that even today, it runs 5 gig and 10 gig. It'll run more later. They so 10 gigs. More power. Uh, over there, the Dell. There's a. It's the same port as USB Type C, but you can do other stuff. You can do Thunderbolt. Right. There are alternate modes that can be supported. One of the key alternate modes out there is the DisplayPort alternate mode. That's a standard space alternate mode. In the case of Dell, they're shipping a product that uses a vendor-specific alternate mode. In this case, Thunderbolt. So you can have either vendor modes or standard modes. And they do 40 gigabits per second on the In same the port Thunderbolt, size? Right. Does that mean potentially USB Type-C is going to support that kind of bandwidth? Correct. Correct. Okay. USB can grow to that level of bandwidth as well. So, uh, and then there's a slim port just over there. Which is this. a version of DisplayPort. And that again would be a, currently a proprietary mode. Okay, there's also the standard mode which is MHL. That yeah. does what is it? What do you mean standard mode? And so then... both the MHL consortium and the VESA organization, which is where DisplayPort come for, comes from, have a working relationship with USB to have co have both standards coexist on the same connector. So that means all the stuff MHL has been talking about is now working even better on USB Type C. We hope. Yes, that yeah. was the plan. Yeah. Yes. So what kind of demos do you have here? You have Microsoft. So we have a Microsoft phone behaving as a PC running Windows 10 with a uh, 1080p display. And what they're doing is they're running DisplayPort and USB simultaneously to a dock. They're getting power from the dock. The dock has an HDMI connector to run the display, has a USB-C connector to pow get power from a power dongle. It's running additional USB devices, including a thumb drive and a wireless keyboard and mouse. That's awesome, right? It's a dock, a complete and, solution and in so one little package. Is it future proof? USB Type C is just going to be there for the next like, hundreds of years? Or uh, well, is this it? We certainly are planned it for to be here for 10 years or more. We'll see if it makes it past 10 years. The current USB is, what, 20 years old? So, yeah, we think it'll be here for no quite a while. D. No type D. No type D. And this is the Apple... This is the Apple Mac. And they have no port except one USB Type-C. Yes, Type-C. And by the way, it can run off of this display as well. We could unplug... Uh, let's see. This one, right? No, we're going to unplug this one. Maybe. And we're going to plug it into here. So now the Mac will recognize the monitor through a Microsoft dock. Really? And it's receiving power, and it can access the thumb drive, and it can even access the keyboard. Does does the device potentially get updated and support like kind of like better resolutions and stuff, or well, is it 4K? What right the, now it's whatever DisplayPort resolution runs. So the DisplayPort standard, the full standard, is supported. Full 4K capability and when DisplayPort evolves it will work with the same cable. Cool. And uh, there's a Samsung also USB Type-C? That's the Samsung uh, brand new uh, 
uh, Galaxy Tab Pro S. So was this a, isn't even shipping yet, it's brand new. Brand new, this is Intel? This is Intel, an Intel Core M uh, running Windows 10. And this is OnePlus? OnePlus 2, this is the Nexus 6P. Um, and there's lots of cables here on the table. Oh, yeah. Is it very important that the cables be uh, certified? Certified, yes. What happened important. otherwise? What could happen? Well, what can happen is if you get it from a supplier that doesn't have the quality or the right design in their cable, you could potentially damage your product. Is it, so, is it hard to make a USB Type-C cable? No, it is not hard. It's a matter of actually following the spec and then testing to the spec. We have had a lot of situations where some markets wanted to get ahead of all the certified product to try and make money quickly, and that's where we've been experiencing some poor product. But the market is starting to work that out, and users are becoming smarter about it, right? They're reading reviews. They're buying products that get good reviews. They're buying products that are truly certified. But any, so. any factory is allowed to make USB Type-C? The spec is an open royalty spec, yes. And so, uh, what's the royalty? Zero. Zero? Zero royalty on the spec. So any so, Shenzhen factory can just start making them? They, they can free. build and to our standard, yes. Um, the spec is royalty free. Now, it's they should become an adopter in order to get that royalty free protection. And the adopter so is like a yearly... There's no cost to be an adopter. Zero oh, yes. cost to be an adopter. It's just nice. signing an agreement. That sounds nice. Yes, it is that, nice. That's cool. That's and, the power of USB as a market. And, and these, these phones, for example, this is a fantastic phone and it's charging pretty fast. Is it 3A? This one runs uh, 15 watts, which is running 3 amps at 5 volts. So that means that if you have a bad cable, it could be a problem for the phone, right? Well, what will happen don't is charge it right this or... phone has the ability to manage its current, its load, based on the quality of oh, the yeah? cable. So if the voltage starts to droop, it knows it's drawing too much current, it'll back off. Oh yeah, Which all means of these it'll devices... run a little slower, it'll charge slower. So all of these devices, none of them will break due to a bad... USB well, cable. if the cable is not delivering all the voltage, it should protect itself, yes. Now, there has been an example of a cable on the market where the cable supplier from an unknown country crisscrossed the wires, and that unfortunately caused damage to a product. And a lot of press was given to that product because they literally crossed plus and minus. That cable was completely wrong. wrong. And it's hard to protect against something that, you know, like plug in the plus and minus completely wrong. But most cables, the quality issue has to do with the quality of the wire. And those will draw, if they lose lose uh, voltage because the wire is not as thick as it should be, for example, these will protect themselves and just draw less power. So Apple had this dual-sided cable for like two or three years now, right? Uh, is a USB Type-C inspired by what Apple did? or Well, certainly that helped the market recognize the value of a use model, right? Yeah. Uh, flippability. So, yeah, I mean, to a large degree, the other OEMs obviously saw the value in what they did. But this has gone well beyond what Lightning can do because it is, a, after all, it's a 24-pin connector, right? And the, uh, the connector on the... Uh, the Lightning solution is, a, is a targeting a USB 2 market and an Apple market. Do you think we'll see Remember, more? Apple is a member of this work yeah. group as well, so obviously yeah. they, they help contribute. So what happens if we connect this one here? What's going to happen? Is I it, know what's going to happen. Does it have no video out? It doesn't no, it have does video. not have display. So it's not like a compulsory thing. You don't no. have to do all this stuff. You just do some of it? The alternate modes are optional. How you do an alternate mode is normatively defined, meaning to do an alternate mode right, there is a specification. But whether you implement it or not is your choice as an OEM. So what's the difference between this one and that one? That, this phone has some extra stuff on the SOC or the PCB that does all this stuff? Right, they've, added, the PCB they've or? added the DisplayPort technology to the silicon on the circuit board. So it's on the SOC? There, I, don't, I think it's a separate it's chip on the on PCB, their circuit on the chip. Board. Yeah, extra chip. PC, yeah. Extra like, chip. how much does it cost that chip? Like one or two dollars or less? Or I have depends? no idea. You should and ask then, Microsoft okay. how much that costs. Okay. Because this functionality is fantastic, but I wish it was everywhere already. Well, it's already like a, it's kind of like a little bit of fragmentation here, right? Uh, so, sorry. Yeah, this one does. Well, right? yeah, he yeah. saw that. Yeah. I connected it to this. Yeah. So. 
Right. I think what's happening is the PC industry and the phone industry are learning what the users want, right? It's obviously clear that the PC industry quickly picked up on they want display. Yeah. So all the PCs pretty much, including now we find out this, yeah. the new Samsung, all support display port. And by the way, you know, you can take that Samsung product and plug it into the dongles from people like Apple, and it works. But would the MHL style also work? It's a matter of whether the OEMs want to implement MHL or not, right? So you, so Microsoft would have to implement it in their dock also. Right. They would have to. Both sides would have to implement it. And as of now, as far as we understand, that isn't the case. Is that part of a product plan? We don't know. All right. We don't. We don't establish their product plans for them, right? Okay. We've just written the specs, told them how to go do it, and now they have to decide what. But does USB Type C do this kind of display output that's not MHL, not Slimport, or you is can it do either USB based display as well? Yes. So there's also another. So the third. you can run just normal USB traffic and carry display content, and there are a number of monitors on the market today that do that kind of thing uh, from people like Dell and others that actually operate in the USB domain. They do not run DisplayPort through the cable. And uh, if you connect right here, uh, there's a bunch of USB cables on the back. What if you have two or three hard drives, you can transfer stuff? Right through here, yeah, yeah. Does it, does it have to do with the SOC's uh, performance, the memory bandwidth, how fast you can get stuff going in and out? And well, it's what version of USB they're running. So in this case, the phone happens to be running a uh, USB 2 connection, okay? But we're able to pull content like video and, you know, because most of the video files are compressed, right? So it runs really well. Why is it USB 2? It's not USB 3 speed. They did not. Microsoft, for whatever reason, chose to only put USB 2 in, in this product. Okay. Probably has to do with the cost and the use model. Right now, their use model works fine. Um, We'll see how much longer before they decide to push it. Nice. So that's going to be very cool, interesting what's going to happen with Mobile World Congress and uh, 2016 with the USB Type-C stuff uh, happening.